Andy, I've been gone for like three hours, and you're still watching lowrider videos. It's all right, Andy. Just move over. I gotta do some work. I guess we're doing the video aqui. Cause Andy crazy. I'm on a Mexican radio. When anything shows up at the door from G&G Armin, I get excited. You look at any of their catalogs and tell me that you don't like anything you see. I dare you. My mind just starts racing. What if it's a Type 64 or a Grand? Could it be a prototype infield or another Banff team rifle? Because I still want one of those. I don't even ask G&G what they're sending to me anymore. I like to be surprised when I open up a box. Now BBs and a brand new battery is always appreciated. And so is an early release combat machine that looks as good as this one. I've known about this rifle for a while now. And ever since I was shown the estimated price point in the feature list, I knew I wanted to show it off so people out there would have a new option to start with in the airsoft world. You can think of this gun, which is called the CMF-16, as the premium of the combat machine line. But first, let me just look at this thing for one sec. I don't even like M4s much, but this one really looks good to me. All right, so what does premium offer you? It offers you a generation four MOSFET right out of the box with Dean's connection stock with a small type converter included on thick 16 AWG wiring. That MOSFET upgrade is key because the older gen G and G MOSFETs did have some issues that people would point out. So hopefully this one fixes all of that. You also get a high strength, lightweight polymer build that keeps the build cost as low as possible without skipping out on external quality. Other features are a screw-in or an M-lock rail determining on what model you get with rail segments right out of the box. Metal ambidextrous controls are also stock like the magazine release and bolt release and the same PDW style stock on the K model that you'd find on one of the most popular CQB guns out there, the ARP9. The pros just go on and on, like the comfortably designed motor grip, all the sling points with the inclusion of a cutie sling swivel right in the box, which is really nice to see, and the really big but replaceable metal trigger guard and the rotary hop up. I know I've probably said right out of the box several times by now, but that MOSFET does a lot of good stuff on the inside too. So if you like insane semi-auto responses from a stock gun, then you should like this rifle. The programmable three and five round burst function is retained in this combat machine like all the older second gen models. So that's another pro I have to add. But what about some stuff that I don't like too much? Well, the stock needs to be broken in a lot. And this is another one of those too much wiring types of guns with a small type adapter plugged in. You should be using Dean's batteries anyway, but any extra space that this model features inside the mock buffer tube gets taken up fast by the MOSFET, the fuse, and the adapter. Oh, and check this out. You see how I have the bolt locked back, right? Well, if I just let the dust cover slap back down a bit, yeah, it drops the bolt because it hits the ambient release. I don't see how this could really cause an issue since you'll never do this process in game, but I just thought I'd mention it. Regardless, this whole package seems great for a beginner from the relative low weight at 2.3 kilograms or 5.1 pounds to the included high capacity magazine and even to the low cost of $250 for this K model and a whole $10 more for the standard crane stock model. I'm just saying that if I had the option to get a CMF-16 when I was looking at my first gun way back when, I would have saved up for this. Now this combat machine still needs a serious full length review. And I think I'll do one once I get a couple of other things out of the way. I've got some countdowns, some gameplays, and another review I need to finish up first. I just hope to see a few questions from you guys in the comments so I can make sure to cover everything in that review. But big shout outs go to GNG Armin for telling me about the CMF rifles when they did and for sending me the variant that I liked the most so I could put together content for you guys. These rifles should be out sometime in November, so definitely keep an eye out for the CMF line if you absolutely need one. Oh, and if you have any idea of what could make this rifle even better, then please let me know especially if you're not too impressed or don't like the features I mentioned. Just tell me what you would do to make this an even better gun for beginners. And with that, I think I'm gonna clean up in here and start taking a bunch of notes for the review. Shoutouts to all the US Airsoft channel members that helped the channel directly by simply being members and all the people that wanted to see 
Andy back in a video. I just found all that Andy loved to be really, really funny. But until that next video drops from the city of San Antonio, this has been Scott Hollenbeck, and I will be sure to see you all next time. Oh, and happy Halloween. <laughs>